Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a detailed drawing of a square thread. No simplified or schematics for square threads, just got to draw them out. So, let's begin. Here is my square thread. This is how we label it. There's nothing after it. You don't have to worry about it. Major diameter, number of threads per inch, and what type of thread is it? It's square. That's all you need to know. So, what I'm going to do is draw my line, which is going to be 2.25, and let's decide that this thing will be 5 deep. So 2.25, so number of threads per inch is going to be 2, and let's move this over top. All right. So the first thing we do is we set up our pitch, which is going to be half P. So P is one half, which gives us one fourth of half P. Make sense? P is one over the number of threads per inch, so P equals 0.5. Half of that, 0.25. So I'm going to come over, 0.25. And just copy this down. I'm just going to do a couple this time. And then the very top is actually the exact same. So if I just mirror this like that, everything is perfect. Now what we do is we just connect the dots. So that's our slope right there. Perfect. Now, what we also have to do is come in half P. So we need to come down 0.25 and across, and I'm just going to mirror this over. So that's the root. Here's the crest. And here is the somewhat tricky part. You gotta think of this as this is the thread here, this is the thread. So every one every other one is the thread. So what I'm gonna do is delete this so you can see this a little bit better. And I've decided that this right here is gonna be a thread, so I'm gonna delete this, delete that, delete that, delete this, delete that. So I'm just trimming that up. And I'm going to zoom in real close here. So if you can imagine this going around the shaft right here from here to here, our minor diameter. This thing is coming up and then coming back down, coming back up, coming back down. So this point right here is going to hit right here. This point right here is going to hit right here. And now that you are in 5.6, you should be thinking three-dimensionally and realizing, okay, if this side right here, these are the edges of the thread, the only thing of this whole line that's going to be shown is this guy right there. So this can go away, this can be deleted, and vice versa. So on this side, only this side is going to be shown because it's wrapping around, it's wrapping around the actual shaft here. So I'm going to copy that across like so and one more time and actually this guy needs to go right here. Alright this is where it gets a little bit tricky but this should make sense. Remember, this right here is the shaft. This is a round surface. This is a cylinder. So the very point, I'm going to zoom in up here, the very top is right here. And as this is spinning, it's also aligning with your eye. So we're going to come down straight here. And then we're going to go back to the middle like that and delete this. And if you can see this coming together, I can now delete this and that. 
So you can see how it's wrapping around the shaft. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. From the point, straight down to where it intersects on the shaft, and then back to the center point. Zoom in, TR, enter, delete this, delete just the little guy on the side, and then delete that construction line. And right there, there's our drawing. So I'm going to do it over here again. I'm going to come straight down, back to the middle, TR, enter, trim this up, delete the line. I can trim this up now as well. Come straight down and back to the middle. So TR enter, trim that up, delete that. We can delete this as well. Delete this. Do it one more time down here. Straight down, back to the middle. TR enter, trim it up and delete that. So this one actually, you can just trim this completely because that is actually the middle here. Oh, I need that line back. Alright, so right there, that one's just going to go right to the middle. And this one you wouldn't see. And just go ahead and trim that up. And trim that up. Everything looks good. Now it's time to do a little copying. This is why I didn't go all the way down. Because of how many lines we have to deal with here. Make sure we got everything. Looks good. I deselect that one. Enter. Find a good base point, which is going to be right here. Go straight across. Straight across. Straight across. So you can get rid of all this. And now, just trim it up, just like we just did. So you can see right here, this is the side of the face, and the top of the thread. And it should make sense to you as you are, again, a DDT 5 sixer. Continue to trim that up. Oh, it looks like we lost the line. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one over. Trim that. Trim the gap. Trim this. Trim the gap. Trim this. This. Trim this. Never draw that line in. Always copy it from somewhere that you know you've done it correctly. Look at that. We'll go ahead and put the end on there, but we really don't need to at this point. You guys know how to do that. And actually, let's go ahead and do that. Because it does look a little different. I'm going to actually break into this thread right here. I'm just going to come over. Delete this, delete that, so you can see how it's coming into an actual piece. And let's go ahead and make our little graph here. Cross coming down, I bisected it to the middle, and coming across here. And draw a line up here, so I have my nice 
chart here. One, two, three, four, five, eight pieces. SPL, spline. Start here to the middle, top. Bisect the middle, back up to here, like so. One, two, three. And then just again on this side, give it that 3D look. TR, enter. Remember that chart is all just down by eye as long as you bisect it. It should work. I'm going to hatch. And there you go. Throw in a center line. And that right there is how to draw detailed square thread.